It's the George Wooden Show, North America's premier fundraiser and benefit auctioneer. So let's get right into it. I'm going to teach you the art of the ask. I believe this is the biggest problem that charities have getting donations and getting really good donations. And when I'm talking about donations, I'm talking about donated items for your live auction, your silent auction, your raffles. It's the art of the ask. I'm going to give you the, the best tips and tricks that I've seen across the years and especially now for 2023 or 2024. This is the art of the ask. Okay, the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a donation request letter. Now, this is for a client, this is Oath out of uh, Houston, Texas. This is the donation letter. This is one of the things we provide our clients that we send them a donation letter. A donation letter basically describes everything. It tells, you know, tells them what, about your event, about your charity, who you are, where to send it. But the most important thing on this entire do donation request letter is this, is the EIN. The EIN that you were given to by the IRS saying you're a nonprofit, this is the most important thing. And why is that? Because most uh, managers or owner, store owners, the first and only thing they're going to look at, honestly, is the, the fact that you have an EIN. They're going to check that. So in this letter, you want to describe your event. Don't get lengthy because they're not even going to read it, to be quite honest with you. Talk about who you are, when your event is, what it's going to be, the attendance, big, 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 if you do a BW Limited event especially. Who to contact, where to send it, who you are. EIN number being the number one thing. Now, the next thing is the hardest part for most people to understand and get over this. You have got to be, number one, extremely confident. When you walk in to ask a business owner for, for a donation, I don't care what, what it is, make sure you're confident. You're not nervous. Try to get over it. Second, this is a big deal. Go around this store and look around and see what you want. Pick out that item that you want. Now, when you walk into the, into the store, walk up to the customer service desk, ask to speak to the manager, someone in charge. And the reason why is, if you leave it with whoever's sitting there, they say, leave it here, you're never going to hear back from them. Make sure you have your handy-dandy donation letter in your hand. Ask for a manager. Now, once the manager or somebody in charge walks up, I want you to walk over to them, stick your hand out, say, hi, I'm John Smith, I'm George Wooden, and hand them this letter. Stick it right in your hand. Now, this is what you should understand, and I talk to a lot of managers. They tell me what gets them and what goes on in their life. You should understand you've, you're probably about the 100th charity that they talk to that week. So in order to get past their gates and through their doors, understand they're busy. Say what you want. Don't take a lot of their time. Hi, I'm so-and-so. We're having a huge, huge event. Give them the letter and tell them we would like you to donate that item. Now let me tell you what would happen. Actually, my wife taught me this. A long time ago, I was in, uh, and I believe it was a Home Depot, and I was going to ask them for donations. My wife said, what are you going to ask for? I said, that flag. She said, why don't I ask for a grill? I was like, okay, fine. So I walked up, stuck the donation letter in her hand, and he said, which grill do you want? You got a truck? I couldn't believe it. I was bowled over. Ask for what you want. Be direct about it, and don't cut corners. Just tell them what you want. Don't stand there and mumble and telling them all about your charity. They don't care. They've got a lot of time, and they don't want to waste it. Now, after you've asked for the item, make sure you take a picture with it. Take a picture with the item. Take a picture with them. Tell them you're going to post up the picture, thanking them for everything that they're done for, they've done for you. Make, make sure they know that you're going to give them a lot of advertisement because that is probably the number one reason why they're donating. Okay, now that you've asked for your donation and you've, you're familiar with it, now go store to store to store and ask people to donate. Keep things in mind. Keep it in your mind what you're going to do. Get over it. Don't be afraid. Walk in. Be direct. Be short. Be sincere. Be brief. Tell them what you want and, and uh, hand them the letter. Make sure you've got a donation letter. You've got to have a donation letter. But understand that you have got to describe your event, how big it's going to be. Because all these other charities are in there asking. And every one of them thinks they're an island amongst themselves. Nobody else thinks that they're even having a charity fundraiser. That they're even doing one. So make sure that you talk about how large your event is going to be and how, how much exposure they're going to get and how it's going to benefit them and you at the same time. 
So now let's talk about what kind of donations and what are they going to be used for. Now understand that 80, probably 80% 80 of the items you're going to go get donated are going to be best used in raffles. You need to go after a lot of items. Now, here's a big, big, big deal. This is a secret between us. This is another uh, tip and trick. Post on Facebook that you're looking for donations. Ask your friends. A lot of people have stuff laying around their house that they're going to re-gift, right? You get presents and everything else. Ask them. Post it up on Facebook. Ask people, hey, do you have any unopened bottles of liquor? Do you have things at your house that's brand new that you haven't used that you were planning on re-gifting or whatever? Ask. Ask, 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 ask everybody. Because you'll be amazed how many people say, yeah, I got a couple bottles. Come on over. Could I don't, It doesn't matter what it is. Take it. In fact, one of the things I tell my clients all the time, hopefully one day you're going to be our client, is this. Large or small, we'll take it all. I don't care what it is, get it. Now, you could do the same thing with the with your donation letter walking into walking into um, into supermarkets. Walk in, ask them if they'll donate a gift certificate. Then build a basket with the gift certificate they give you. Walk around, say, oh, today we're going to make a chocolate basket. Go get chocolate stuff. Put it all together. Take it up to the checkout. The store doesn't care. Buy the stuff, take it home, build a basket. Go to another grocery store, do the same thing. Oh, today we're going to make a pasta basket. Do the same thing over and over and over again. Ask everybody. You want to get ask your family, ask your friends. Get Getting donations. Now, this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to walk into a place and be real mealy-mouthed mealy or be uh, just like real humdrum. People are going to be bored stiff. you got to... Be confident, like I've said before, you got to be confident in what you're asking for. Hit every place, especially in the area that you're at. Make sure you ask everybody. It doesn't matter. Ask every store, every place. And I'll tell you another thing. When I'm out looking for donations, I'll print off a, a whole file folder of these, 30, 40 of these. My wife goes crazy. I'll have them in my truck, in my car, or whatever else I've got. I've got them on me. Now... If you have an event flyer and you want to include it with it, great, but really don't need to. Because, what did I tell you before? All the information is already in the letter. Don't waste your time or your ink. Wink's a lot of money. Print off a good donation letter, have them with you. So no matter, no matter what you're going to do, you'll have them with you. If you're going to a restaurant, let's just say one of these chain restaurants, I don't know, Outback Steakhouse, uh, Texas Roadhouse, which is my favorite, um, Applebee's, those places like that. Well, let's just say you get your plate and you walk over and there's a hair. Obviously, it didn't come from me. <laughs> so there's a hair in your food, right? Or there's a rat. Oh, my God, there's a rat under here or a cockroach. I recently heard a story about a cockroach that crawled out from underneath of a steak. <laughs> you call the manager. He, he walks over. The manager walks over and he says, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that happened. He reaches into a hit. He or she reaches into their pocket or their jacket or whatever else they got. And they say, here... We'd like to give you this gift certificate here. I hope this makes your, your stay better. They got a whole stack of them bad boys in their pocket. How do I know? Because I ask. When you go into a place, don't be afraid. Ask, hey, would you donate to this? Ask them. They'll do it. Stop by. Go to the restaurants. Go to restaurant, restaurant. Go to these restaurants. Ask everybody. Gift certificates are incredible. Now, I'm going to summarize something, and I'm going to say this quick so that you understand it. Now, even though my company is a consignment auction item company, I want you to understand that this. Consignment items, are there's a lot of myths around them. The majority of the donations you're going to get across the board are going to be best used in raffles. Here's let me tell you why. You know how many charities there are in the United States? Five million. That's just the mother charity. There's things like NRA, Susan G. Komen, Heart Association. They've got chapters all over the country. Ducks Unlimited, NRA. All these chapters, you're up against about probably 20 million different organizations out there for charity fundraising. They're all going out looking for, for donated items, and they all attack. Guess who they attack? The small business owners, the poor small business owner. The poor small business owner can't donate to everybody because if they did, they'd be out of luck. They'd be have their lights shut off. They can't. So what they've got to do is they have to pick and choose. And when they do donate, guess what they're going to give you? They're going to uh, how about this? Handy dandy half used candle that's sitting here. How about this? I'll give you this candle. How about a candle? And you think, ho oh, oh, ho, I got a candle. And you walk out, you get a candle, and you go back, but you don't realize in in your silent auctions and all that stuff, it's only bringing about 
20 20 percent maybe you at the, at the very most 50 percent of its retail and then if you take out your time the gas you use it was a waste waste of time best place to use donations is in raffles 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 can simon auction items your friend especially if you go and watch the video on that i did on how to get your item sponsored plus having really great items in your fundraising event in the live auction selling auction improves your event makes you a lot of money and it just impresses everybody so that's your tips and tricks for today the art of the ask and the, the donations that do and how to get them get everything gift baskets gift certificates get it get it get it get as many as many as you can that is the art of the ask you've got to be confident speak to the right person and make sure you ask for what you want and not just give them the option to give whatever the last and final tip i'm going to give you if you walk into a, especially walmart you walk into a store and they tell you now believe me this is what they do because i've asked I've been doing this a long time they tell you well you got to go online you go on a website and there's a thing you fill out and you fill this thing out and this and that and the other blah, 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 and and you submit it and our board will look over it you guess what they're really telling you they're actually saying no they don't want to tell you no but they're saying no because nobody's looking at it and maybe every once in a while they do get together and maybe you might get something but i got a a better chance of growing hair down to my toes in the next two seconds than you are to get a donation like that now how do you get over them how do you get past that gate be confident be sincere talk about how big your event is what the cause is where it's going to be and how much exposure they're going to get make sure they hear it and then ask them for what you want don't even listen to that thing ask to speak to a supervisor somebody could make a decision because believe it or not I bet you I could get a donation from anywhere because I know how to do it. That is your tip and tip and tricks for 2023 and 2024, the art of the ask. Believe me when I tell you, it works every single time. Hey, do me a favor. Subscribe to our channel. Watch, watch out for the videos. Give me a thumbs up or comment or something like that. Let me know what you think. That's your art of the ask. Real talk about how to get donations and a lot of them. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The George Wooden Show, North America's premier fundraiser and benefit auctioneer. Make sure you follow us on TikTok and Facebook.